It's the fitness industry's dirty little secret. Exercising does not equal weight loss. Now, don't let this information deter you from getting off the couch. Exercising does equal better body chemistry. So I'm not saying don't do it, but be warned. The odds that all those extra pounds melt away as you sweat on the treadmill is rather slim. Of course, that leaves the question, why not? Surely, exercise should ultimately be powered by fat. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV, which takes a long, hard look at one of the reasons exercise is not the panacea for weight loss and how you can stack the odds in your favor. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, we all know fat is where excess calories are stored, and it follows that some of those calories should be shared to make you go if a calorie deficit has been created. Voila! Exercise should lead to thinness. Ah, here is the problem. Exercisers often don't eat less. They eat more. In fact, well, it's common practice for exercisers to stop at the juice bar for a post-exercise snack. Now, part of the problem is physiological. The calorie equation is somewhat deceptive because Burning calories is hard work. Hard work. Unfortunately, the amount of exercise you need to do to burn off that Coke you drank is frightening. And oftentimes, when you get yourself to that fat burning zone, well, your brain begins to panic. It gets all stressed out and it does what a stressed body must do it goes into survival mode. Since in a world without supermarkets, fast food joints, and pantry cupboards, survival depends on having fat stores, your hormonal switch flips to fat storing mode. So after that vigorous exercise session, you're working on loading up your fat stores and your appetite is supercharged. This is a biological signal. And if you've done a serious exercise session, there's a psychological signal too. You tell yourself you deserve it. So you tuck into a chocolate fudge sundae. Mm. Aish. The brain and body concur, leaving you healthier, but not skinnier. This is what a group of researchers from Cornell Food and Brand Lab discovered when they invited employees from the university to enjoy a free lunch. The catch? To get into the free lunch, they needed to show up wearing a pair of trainers and take a one-mile walk around the campus. Now, half of the ladies were told the walk was for fun. The other half were told that the walk was an exercise session and they were encouraged to get moving. Now, to make the walk genuinely fun for those in the fun group, the walkers listened to cool music on an MP3 player whilst being out and about in the fresh air. At the end of the walk, the ladies completed a questionnaire to assess how fun it was and how taxing it was. No surprises. The walkers who listened to music had fun and found the walk untaxing. The dedicated exercisers had a whole lot less fun, but they didn't actually feel overtaxed by their exercise session. Lunch was served. Now what happened at the all-you-can-eat buffet reward was eye-opening. Behind the scenes, the walkers' plates were weighed and their dessert and beverage choices scrutinized, allowing the researchers to calculate calories in. Now, in terms of the calorie count, 
There was not much in it when it came to dishing up lunch. Both groups served up and ate similar amounts of calories. But there was a big difference when it came to dessert. Dedicated exercises ate more, period. And they tended to choose the more decadent, calorie-laden chocolate pudding rather than the healthy option, which was an apple sauce. Oops. You deserve it. If you've exercised, your sugar gremlin will whisper, you did a good job. Exercising is so important for good health. Good deeds should always be rewarded. You deserve, no, 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 you need a reward. Go on, indulge. This very logical thought pattern can end up sabotaging your weight loss effort. So, whatever you do, don't exercise. Instead, go dancing. Listen to your favorite music while riding the bicycle. Go sightseeing. Take a walk on the beach. Go rollerblading. Play golf. You can even go shopping. Think having some fun while moving rather than doing some exercise. Having fun means the exercise session is your reward. So you're a lot less likely to seek out a high-calorie foodie reward afterwards. It's so much fun to outwit a sugar gremlin. Ugh, of course, if the idea of exercise being fun is a foreign concept, then make sure you send a memo to your sugar gremlin letting it know that you have a policy of not rewarding exercise with munchies. And when you leave the gym, don't stop at the juice bar. It's not there for your benefit. Exercising less but moving more will help you create better body chemistry and better health. Looking for more science-based tips and strategies to lose weight? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com and enroll in our free weight loss course, Zero to One. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who's exercising to lose weight? Share this video with them so they know how important it is to resist the urge to reward those exercise sessions. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.